In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use color harmonies in Corel Draw to quickly adjust the color scheme of a project. This will allow you to change what colors you are using in your graphic or design while retaining all of your tonal variation without having to change each color individually. Color harmonies also make it really easy to experiment with different color schemes to get just the look you want. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. So I have Corel Draw opened up with this logo design for a cafe. I'm really happy with the graphic of the cupcake, but after adding the cafe name on top of the logo, I'm not happy with the way these colors work together. I want to make the cupcake have bright pink and blue colors to match the cafe name. Rather than individually having to change all the color variations within this graphic, I can use color harmonies to change the color scheme, but still maintain the tonal variation. To do this, go to Window, then Dockers, and then select Color Styles. Or you can simply press Ctrl plus F6 on your keyboard. The Color Styles Docker will appear on the right. And now to create a color style, all you have to do is select the group of items that you want to work with. Then drag them over to the section that says, drag here to add color style and generate a harmony. So I'm going to drag the cupcake over to this section. Then the Create Color Styles dialog box will pop up. And here you'll see the color harmonies that have been automatically created for you. You'll see that the harmonies have been grouped together based on their shades of color. You can increase or decrease the number of harmonies you want to create by moving this slider here. I'm going to stick to just four color harmonies, since I really only want to change the color schemes of the green and purple icing on the cupcake. Then click OK. Now these color harmonies have been added to our Color Styles Docker. I also want to note that sometimes if you have a really complex image, your color harmonies might not be grouped together the way you want them to be. To make adjustments to the color harmonies, all you have to do is drag the color style onto the harmony you want it to group with. For example, I could drag this white color style so it will belong to the same color harmony as the shades of green. But I'm happy with how it automatically grouped the harmonies together, so I'll undo that action. Now I'll click on the harmony folder of the shades of green. Under the harmony editor, I can select any one of the handles, and as I move it around the color wheel, the colors will begin to change in the harmony. When you release your mouse, the new color scheme will apply to your graphic. I want to change this to a blue color scheme, so I'll keep playing with the color wheel until I find the blue shades I like. Then I'll click on the purple harmony and adjust this again to a bright pink color. Now let's say I want the shades of pink and blue to match the text color of the cafe exactly. I can open up the color editor underneath the harmony editor and select the color eyedropper. Then I'll click on the color of the text I want to use. And you can see that it's now been applied to the color harmony. Underneath the color wheel, I can adjust the slider to change the brightness or darkness levels of the shades. And now, for fun, I'll choose the largest color harmony of browns and yellows, and play around with the color wheel to see different looks I can experiment with for the outline of the graphic and the cupcake base. Finally, to be even more precise with your color selection, you can independently move the handles to change a singular color style within the harmony. You'll notice that the selector rings here are all double rings, and clicking one of them and moving it will move all in harmony as we've just been doing. However, if you click one of the selector rings a second time, you'll notice that all the other selector rings now have a single ring. The one that you clicked will be a double ring and you can move this one independently of the others to the color tone and shade you prefer without affecting the other colors in the harmony. You can also hold down control while dragging the selector ring to preserve the original saturation, or hold down shift to preserve the original hue. And it's just that easy to completely change the color scheme of your designs and graphics with just a few clicks. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along, 
and find other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW.